millions to be spent on controversial empty refugee hubs. Today's video is an interesting one since we'll be discussing the latest news from Australia, which says that the government plans to spend millions on a vacant refugee facility. So, let's start our video and help you learn more. We also have an Instagram page with nearly 8,000 followers that you can follow to stay connected with us. You'll find the link in the first pinned comment and the description box below. The latest news states that Australia will keep offering monetary funding for its controversial offshore detention processing centre in Nauru. This is surprising as the rest of the refugees at the facility are leaving. Don't forget that Australia is trying its best to prevent human traffickers from sending boats to the country. What's interesting to note here is that the Australian government is expected to provide monetary support of up to 350 million Australian dollars a year to the facility. Following this news, a Department of Home Affairs spokesperson highlighted the government's commitment to the Operation Sovereign Borders policy of Australia. It should be noted that the centre is open to receive and process new and authorised boat arrivals. The spokesperson also added that a lack of population in Nauru doesn't affect the regional processing policy of Australia. It's no secret that immigration has always been a sensitive issue in Australia, a country popular for introducing strict policies since Prime Minister John Howard's tenure in 2001. Interestingly, the authorities have been sending thousands of asylum seekers to offshore detention centres on Manu's Island and the Pacific country of Nauru, detaining them there for years now. Here, you should know that the United Nations condemned Australia's tough stance, calling the policy illegal and arbitrary. This issue sprung up again last year, resulting in a countrywide campaign to permit an ethnic Tamil family stuck in immigration limbo for three years to go back to their Queensland community after getting removed from Australia unexpectedly. As a result the family was allowed to live in the community on bridging visas until their claim got assessed. We have reached the end of today's video update. Like, share and subscribe to our channel for the latest updates. Thanks for watching.